Hello and welcome back to our series where we teach you everything you need to know about Lightroom in 30 days. Now today we're talking about protecting you with a watermark and there are a lot of great use cases. Some people want to put their watermark on every photo that they put on the internet so if someone stumbles upon them they can't steal that photograph and maybe they want to contact you to hire you for a future job which would be fantastic. Another great use for a watermark is to use this during the client interaction process. So maybe before you get the final payment when the job is done, you're going to send in some proofs, maybe some smaller sized images with the watermark on them. That way it's going to protect you until you get your final payment. So today we're going to show you how to create them and export in Lightroom. So we're working with this beautiful wedding photograph. You guys can download this for totally free. Just follow the link right down below and you can follow along. So we're going to go up here to file and then down here to export. Fantastic. Now here in the export, I've reset all of my settings. We're going to go right to where we see watermarking and we're going to go ahead and click on watermark. Now I went ahead and made a couple of presets, but we're just going to start from scratch today. So we're going to start where it says edit watermarks. Let's go ahead and click on edit watermarks. Fantastic. Now you're going to we want to just type in your name and you're going to see here, it's going to show up on the photograph. So you have a lot of different options here on the right hand side. You can change the font. You can say it's left aligned, center aligned, right aligned, and you can put a shadow on it. You can adjust the opacity here. I can make it more visible or less visible. And you can even change the size of this depending on the use case for your images. Of course, you can inset it horizontally and vertically, and you can put it in the middle on the side and things like that. Now, one big thing I want to show you here is by default, it's going to be a text style watermark. So it's literally just whatever you type here is going to be on the image, but you can also use a graphic if you'd like. So I'm going to go ahead and click on graphic. There we go. And I'm just going to go ahead and load up this Flurn graphic and hit choose. And then we have the Flurn logo on here as well. So if your business has a graphic or maybe you did a signature or something like that, you can use that as well. Now, there are, again, a lot of different ways to use a watermark. If you're going to be putting this on the internet and you want your, your name or your company or your logo to be on this forever, well, a good way to do that might just be to use a small watermark. Maybe just put a tiny little watermark in the corner. It's not going to actually disrupt your image. And I've never really done this personally, but what I do is when I'm working back and forth with a client is I want to put a watermark during the process, like, okay, let's say you get half of your payment ahead of time before the photo shoot, and you're going to get the other half when the final images are delivered. Okay. But during the process, you might want to send them images to say like, Hey, do you like these photographs? How, how are they looking? Basically doing them back and forth. And in that process, it's a great idea to add a watermark because it's going to protect you. I've heard so many stories of like photographers sends their client images as proofs and then their clients just take the images, they upload them to Facebook and they never get final payment. Hopefully that never happens to you, but this is a great way to protect you because no one's going to take your image if it has a giant logo slapped across the center. So we can go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and just make our size a little bit bigger here. We're just gonna adjust our size, fantastic. And let's just pop that right in the middle. And then we're just gonna put our opacity like way, way, way down so you can kind of barely see it. All right, so that looks pretty good. Now I'm just going to go ahead and we're going to just make this a new preset. Okay. I'm going to call this pH learn, learn, and I'm going to call this proof. All right. So this I know is going to be sent out as a proof and we're going to hit create and let's go ahead and hit done. Fantastic. So I know this is going to be sent out with learn <laughs> right there in the center. Now, the other thing that I recommend doing, and this is if you're in the back and forth process with your client is I recommend going into your file settings here. All right, sorry, it's the image sizing. <laughs> image sizing, and I do recommend resizing your image. So we're gonna say resize, and I just usually put long edge, and then we're gonna put like 800. You can put 1,000 pixels, but something relatively small. You don't wanna send them full size images. Again, this is all about protecting you, right? So in the end, when, you know, when the contract is complete, you can send them the full size images with no waterproof or watermark, but this is during the process of protecting you. Okay. So image size, we are going to resize to fit your file settings. We're going to send this out as a JPEG at hundred percent quality at sRGB. That looks great. 
And then up here at the very top, export location. I'm just going to say export. We're going to choose the folder later, which is going to pop up a dialog after I hit export down here. Okay. Now, all of these settings, including the export location, the resize to fit, the watermark, the JPEG, all of these settings we can add into a preset, an export preset. So here's how we do it. Just click right here on add. Okay. And I'm going to call this learn. There we go. Proof. All righty. Flurn proof, and then all of those settings, there we go, you can see it's right there on the side. All of these settings are gonna be loaded up into this proof. So let's go ahead and click on export here. Oh, I got one more tip for you here. Over where it says file naming, I like to go to rename file, and then I like to go over to where it says edit on the bottom. Okay, we're just gonna delete all this stuff here. We're gonna put in the file name. There we go, I'm gonna put type in a little hyphen there. So this is Beth's wedding hyphen, and then I like to put custom text, just put insert. Okay. So file name hyphen custom text hit done there. Okay. And then here where it says custom text in the file naming, I'm just going to type in proof. There we go. So this is Beth, Beth wedding. And then they're going to know it's a proof because it's actually in the file name as well. All righty. Fantastic. So let's go ahead. You know what? Uh, this doesn't include this. So we're going to hit add and we're going to type in We'll say O2. Why not? We'll just make a new one. Hit create and then <laughs> I can delete that one if I want to. Simply click on it and click on remove. But now we know this is the one we want. All right. So let's go ahead and hit export down here. And we're just going to choose the folder where it's going to go in. I'm going to put it in the sample images folder and you guys can download all of this stuff so you can follow along. So we'll go ahead and put it in there and click on open. Fantastic. So let's go ahead and grab our finder window. And here you can see this is the Beth wedding proof. So in the file name, you can see Beth wedding proof. Okay. The dimensions, the long edge is 800 pixels. And here you can see the Flurn logo right on top of this. So again, this is for your protection, your clients, you know, they're, they're not going to take this, right? This is, just, it's got your giant logo on it, but they can still see the image and get an idea if they like it. And you can explain to that and you can say, I'm going to send you all my images, uh, you know, with a big watermark on it. And then when you're done, the watermark is going to go away. So this is the entire process for exporting out in Lightroom. And then, you know, when you're ready, when you're ready to send the full size image, here's what you do. You go to file down here to export. Okay. We're going to go ahead and rename. We'll just call this final. There we go. Beth wedding final. All right. We are not going to resize it because we want that to be the full size. Okay. And we're going to take off our watermark. There we go. And let's just go ahead and add Flare and final. There we go. And then let's click here on export. And then we're just going to put it in the same folder, keep everything nice and simple. Click on open and you can see it's exported out the folder, the image. And here we have our Beth wedding, the final dot JPEG. So here's the proof. And you can see that the long edge is 800 pixels. It's a relatively small image, but big enough to where they can actually see it. And then here is the final. You can see it's a much larger photograph. I'm going to hold the space bar down and the watermark is not there. So that's the entire process of adding a watermark to your photos. And again, you can use this however you'd like. I just want you to be protected. So, you know, your, your, your work and your time and your creativity is important. So watermarking is a great way to protect you as a creator. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a big thumbs up here on YouTube. It'd mean a lot. And if you want to get more free tutorials, simply click on subscribe. Thanks again, and I will learn you later. Bye, everyone.